Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today we are here with episode 8 of I Hate My Wardrobe. I'm filming this on the same day as episode 7. I just wanted to break the videos up by segment so that this isn't egregiously long because I do have a tendency to ramble as well. Um, like you guys, if you saw episode 7, know that I am working on decluttering the main section of my uh, closet today. Um, just tackling a few more things. The reason I'm doing this section first and not the hanging stuff is this section is where I go every day. I, you know, whether it's grabbing leggings, pajamas, undies, socks, etc. This is where I spend the majority of my closet time. So I really want to make sure that this area is functional, it can really take the constant in and out of clothing, and it has my essentials in it and is visually appealing, it's a happy space, it's not too crazy. And I also want to get rid of the stuff that has been lingering in the drawers that I haven't really looked at because they're in the drawers and I want to replace all the drawers um, and have the drawers be like very functional. So today, I'm going to clear out, if you guys remember from the very first video that I did where I decluttered my activewear, there is a neither here nor there drawer now of some random activewear pieces and all of that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do today is turn that kind of leftover drawer. I don't know what I'm going to do with those pants or anything yet, so they're going to be homeless for a little bit, but I'm going to make that drawer, I think... I might actually move my activewear down into it and then have the drawer that my activewear is currently in my go-to like tops, tank tops, t-shirts, that sort of thing because right now there's a lot of them hanging and if I actually had folding space for them I wouldn't need to hang them but I also don't know I don't love I don't know or maybe I might make it jeans. No, I think I'm gonna go t-shirts. I think I'm gonna go t-shirts. Like my go-to everyday like t-shirts, long sleeve, um, tanks, that sort of thing. I think I have enough drawer space to do like a line of tanks, a line of tees, and a line of long sleeves. Hmm, actually, maybe I'll make it knitwear so that I'm not like hanging my knitwear up. Hmm, this is an interesting proposition because I'm just thinking, right, like knitwear shouldn't really be hung anyways because it like stretches out the knitwear and then I don't really have enough bulk of t-shirts and stuff to fill a whole drawer potentially and knitwear being really bulky is going to kind of naturally take that up and it'll also clear space in my hanging section. Okay, new plan. We're gonna make a knitwear drawer and it also means that I can get like cedar blocks and stuff and pop it into the drawer like really easily and it'll contain it and it'll also help me see like in my knitwear I think I'm gonna I am going to pull some stuff out to donate from my knitwear and I will yeah okay I like this plan I like this plan a lot let's get to it oh mm. Also, I usually, like I said, I usually listen to an audiobook. Um, I will link, I'm currently listening to, of course, A Court of Mist and Fury. I'll link it below. Um, but today, because I am very, 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 very behind on my um, F1 watching, I am watching Grand Prix to catch up and find out what happens because I have been desperately avoiding spoilers. Um, I mean, I think at this point, off, like today is Abu Dhabi but like where I am in the season I'm watching Singapore today um Max is so far in the lead he's pretty much the the champion already but I still want to know what happens and I want to see what Ferrari does so yeah that's what I'm doing right now but yeah normally it's an audiobook and I really recommend habit stacking just today you know what like I said in the other video, um, to just explain why I'm not listening to an audiobook, I normally do listen to audiobooks doing this, as you guys know, but I have been doing a lot of writing, and I do find that on days where I don't listen to books or 
am not sucked into somebody else's world that they've created right now, um, I am able to create and write a little bit better. Some weeks I can do that, I get a lot of inspiration, I, I learn how people write things and stuff like that and it helps spark whatever it is, but as of right now, I find it's easier to just like live, like the only thing that's going on in my head right now that's like fantasy and stuff is my own world, so yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird, this is just like a fun hobby that I'm doing, but I'm taking it so seriously. <laughs> But yeah, okay. Anyways, let's get going on this. The first thing, I gotta clear out this drawer. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff, but we'll, um, we'll cross that bridge later. Do you guys, do you, do you see this? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, sweaters, and I left some in the back. Because this is egregious. And frankly, it is just, it's ridiculous. And some of these things, this isn't even all of them. I didn't take some of them down. And there are more in the city, of course, right? So, yeah, we are um, questioning my sanity. I think what I really want to do is go through and pull out like to donate versus not donate first. Um, like keep the don't keep. I think everything that I'm pulling out is going to go to the Diabetes Society. So they'll get passed on. not a nowhere <laughs> piece but I was just pulling it out so I'm gonna pass it on for sure this sweater is cute but it's not warm it's not snuggly but it's free people so I don't know full of moth bites out oh my god it's all the same thing so many of these sweaters that I'm like pulling out are from like early university years and oh my god the 
trauma associated with these. It's like, it's visceral. DDF and it's so um, so cute it has like a matching yellow skirt I don't often wear color but it is cute if I were to wear color <gasps> a classic oh my god these gotta go though these are oh my gosh these are Ritzia like swoop jacket things okay I'm gonna see if my mom wants these this guy's gotta be binned. Okay. I don't think everything is gonna fit. So I'm gonna go back through and look at what can be hung up and what should be folded. Like really heavy sweaters should definitely be folded. Folded. I think a vest can stay hanging for sure. Um, you're definitely really happy. Vest. It's like a summer sweater. These, I don't know if I'm gonna, like, I should just force myself to wear them for a couple seasons more. Same with this guy. But I think because it's short sleeve, this guy for sure, I'm gonna just keep it. Hanging. This acne sweater definitely needs to yes. illustrate it. This guy's thin. Mm, you can fold. You can hang. Okay. So now we've broken it up into thin sweaters that can still be hung up and thick sweaters that need to be, that should be folded because they're heavy. these all the ones that are gonna fold and then sort them and put them into the drawer in terms of if they are roll neck or crew neck and then we'll find homes for the lighter guys there's definitely like oh this guy's sh I don't really wear color, but this would be great for Christmas, maybe. <sighs> maybe I'll bring this to Christmas and get like one last leg out of it. But yeah, it's the wef the wool has definitely shrunk. So I have one long, my illustrator sweater, which I love. Maybe I'll leave my illustrator hanging because I just reach for it so much. This is a Heenan sweater. Not reach for as much. Okay, we have a crop sweater. Yeah, I think this is a good use of this drawer for now. Like I said, you know what? Everything is like, everything is for now. We're trying things out. We're working on it. Um, like even like I'm looking at my icks, what I think is an ick now and stuff. Like when I do actually make that video for you guys, I'm going to definitely put a heavy disclaimer that it is like what I'm feeling in this moment, in the season, like after a year, but like in another year that might change. So yeah, okay, we are done and you need to 
get up another battery. So I'm gonna go do that and see if my mom wants any of those sweaters. Okay, perfect. That worked out well. We're not, I'm not sure if this is gonna be permanent home, but we have turtlenecks, crewnecks, and, sorry, turtlenecks and crewnecks. So yeah, pretty good. I mean, only seven fit in here right now, but at least they're no longer hanging and their bulk is causing issues, so. Woo, okay, let's find a home. For the hanging guys, we are gonna do a run. We are probably going to do a run to a consignment store this week. Is the, the shop process currently happening here? So I am going to maybe end up doing more of this than I thought. I was originally going to do today because with going to a, con a consignment store I'm going to be able to maybe sell some things on and I don't want to waste the trip. Okay. Yeah, this feels so much better already without the bulk of the sweaters in it. And then I'm going to pull out yeah, okay. Alright, this is truly the last of these little sweaters, which is great. So, even popping these in, there's such a difference in how much bulk is in this closet. of course always sweaters like in the wash um there's cardigans floating around but this is it for now okay Ooh. all right all right all right all right gonna eat some lunch <laughs> but oh I'm so happy with this now like there's just oh, there's so much more room here now like I don't feel as claustrophobic with all of this sort of stuff now I really do want to get everything like down to kind of classics and basics and stuff there's still this whole section back here which i have started to actually put some dresses back here but there are some random things but yeah i think the trip to um the can the store is gonna be really good maybe yeah really good i keep saying yeah ugh, like but there's just I'm excited because there's just so many things that I think I could part ways with like this top for instance 
it's so cute, but I've only worn it once and I've never reached for it again, so it's still in fabulous condition. I just need to say peace. And then, yeah, so. <sighs> Anyways, okay. That is it for this section. Um, my little knitwear reorganize and declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.